Okay, welcome to day three of the National Hunt. And we're going to start off here at Gowron Park for a two mile four grade two chase. And number one is Crunch Time, two is XL Ashkelani, three is Falling Through the Clouds, four is Famous Poet, five Frantic Belcor, six if you want blood, seven Lizzie's Boy, the King Estate is going to be number eight, Goldilocks is nine, Lake House is ten, Primark is eleven, and Sympathy for the Devil, the favourite, is number twelve. They're away here at Gowron Park in a sunny Kilkenny. Well, not so sunny as the rain is coming down. And we're going to wait for him to settle down and see who's going to take us into the first. There's a line of three at the moment. Frantic Belcourt, Exgalax Galani and Lake House. They're going to be the three that are going to rise at the first. And everybody's over it. The one that had a really big jump there is the favourite sympathy for a devil from one at Surfer. And into the second, another little plain one. As we still And straight into the third. And everybody's over that. So it's Sympathy for the Devil that leads us now from uh, Exel Ashkelani. No, Exel Ashkelani's decided to, to have a length advantage. So it's these, these two from in third crunch time. And we've got the grey Primark. Out wide in the hoops is falling through clouds. And between those is Frantic Belcourt. And they're followed through by Lake House. Lizzie's Boy, if you want blood. And we've got famous poet, the King's Estate, and Goldilocks at the rear. So ex Alex Galani, yes, Galani, Mr. Bond, takes uh, the fourth, and they're all over that. And he's extended his lead at the front there for Doug Warren. Leads by four to Sympathy for the Devil in second. And we've got Falling Through Clouds, and the two of Crunch Time and Frantic Belgore. Out wide is Lizzie's boy for Darren House. Take this small little ditch. Everybody sails over that comfortably. And uh, they're going to approach the another small plain one. And that'll be the last next time round. But as you can see, it's uphill. It's uh, the next circuit. So it's somebody with a bit of legs as they go past the winning post. And it's XL Ashkelani that leads us by four to Sympathy for the Devil. Then we've got Falling Through Clouds. Frank Tick Belcorn, Crunch Time. Length further back to Famous Poet. He's being followed through by If You Want Blood and Lizzie's Boy. And we've got Lake House and Primark, the grey. And King's Estate. And the one just a little bit detached by just a couple of lengths is Goldilocks of Paul, Paul Rhodes at the back. So back up front. They're going to approach the next. It's still S X I can't say X XL Ashkelani. Terrible. And it's XL Ashkelani that leads us by a couple of lengths now to famous poet that's poked his head into second place. Um, for Stu Gray, he's being followed through by that grey frantic Belcourt. Inside of that is falling through clouds. One against the fence is sympathy for the devil for Moilets. One also poking through is if you want blood for Martin Leadham. Uh, wider still is Lizzie's boy for Darren House. Inside of that is Lake House for Jim Murray. And this famous poet has now demoted himself right to the back of the pack. Going through that like butter. And then we've got the grey Primark for Del Hinton. Outside of that is Gold Lots for Paul. And then the King's Estate, which I think is uh, Darren Thompson Horse. As they take the seventh. And everybody's over it. Poor jump by Primark. He's got himself uh, a little bit detached again, but he's catching back up to the rest of the pack. The one that's getting really... Oh, and we've lost one there. Frantic Belcour's gone. That's uh, bad luck to connections there. A graze out. The one that's getting really detached is Famous Poet. No surprise there. So put back up front. Goldilocks come from nowhere to challenge XO Ashkelani into the ninth. They take it together. Everybody's over it. They'll go straight into the tenth. They come thick and fast along this back. And it's Goldilocks that jumps into the lead. Over the eleventh. Oh, poor jump there by XO Ashkelani. But it's Goldilocks that leads us from If You Want Blood falling through clouds. XL Ashkelani being pushed along again to challenge. Then we've got Sympathy for the Devil. Uh, Why is Lizzie's boy in the King Estate making up good ground? And they're still being followed through by Lake House, Primark. And then Famous Poet's not even in the picture. But up front, it's Goldilocks being pushed by XL Ashkelani. On the outside is the King Estate that starts to move ahead now and takes a length of lead advantage. Approaching the next. We're only going to have a couple left to jump. They're over the 12th. Two to go. And it's the King's Estate that leads by a couple of lengths to Goldilocks. XL Ashkelani still plugging on. Two coming out of the pack of Crunch Time and Lake House. But they've got a lot to do to catch the King's Estate. They approach the penultimate. It's the King's Estate from Goldilocks. XL Ashkelani starting to go backwards. They're both over 
at the leaders and it's still the King's Estate from Gold Locks. Here comes the favourite Sympathy for the Devil who's got a lot to do. They go over the last and they start the uphill climb. King's Estate, Goldilocks, the King's Estate, Goldilocks, these two, half a length in it, a neck in it. It's the King's Estate, it's the King's Estate that's going to take it. Hanging on from Goldilocks. I think third was crunch time, but there were a fair few lengths back there. Both Goldilocks and uh, King's Estate were a good fair few lengths ahead of the rest. And here's the King's Estate that takes that comfortably in the end from Goldilocks. And crunch time was third. So the King's Estate for Darren Thompson, well done. I think I called your horse uh, Frantic Bell for earlier, sorry. Goldilocks was second for Paul Rhodes. Third was crunch time for Leon Van Rensburg. Fourth was Sympathy for the Devil from Moilet Surfer. And fifth is If You Want Blood for Martin Leedham.